the blood crystal is that this acts as a fuel source. Essentially, uh, as long as the blood crystal is active, uh, I treat that every Magus has essentially unlimited amount of arcane pool points. And arcane pool points, they essentially they use that to, you know, their tricks like, you know, hitting your touch AC or adding, essentially the whole bunch of stuff that Magus can do with arcane uh, pool. And uh, you know that this is like a well two-way road. If the fuel source is being taken away, well, suddenly they uh, lose access to that resource. So destroying that blood crystal robs them. This ma this magi robs them of uh, arcane pool points. However, as, as a, again a reminder, this is like extremely dense, concentrated physical amount of mana energy being packed into this blood crystal. So there will be like, you'll need like plenty, plenty of hits needed to like hammer the structure. It is easy to hit it, it has AC of 10, uh, but it's just, you just need, really need to hammer it down if you want to destroy it. Okay, so as for the cult uh, Magus 4, uh, obviously he's gonna continue going with arcane accuracy, so he, wa he will want to hit your uh, touch EC again, and he will this time attempt to call us a spell with a spell strike as part of spell uh, combat, and this one will be... Uh, pa -pa 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 -pa. Yeah. Uh, you see that the the bone suddenly looks frozen as the coldness uh, emanates throughout the uh, blade. So that's level two spell. So he needs to get uh, 19 on concentration check. Okay, he gets it, and then. Let's see if he can actually hit your touch AC success. Twenty-seven to touch AC. Uh, yes. Mm. All right. That doesn't actually doesn't threaten because I I, I missed it by one, so that's gonna be mm -hmm. just a regular damage, yo, or other damage from the weapon itself and then from the blade so 1d6 plus 3 is regular and then 4d6 cold damage uh, pa -pa 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 -pa. Yeah. and actually I need to see if you get like a because there's like one more effect oh okay uh, so Okay, so you do not get uh, saving throw against that because the the strike hit you. Uh, the frigid touch spell, so you are staggered for one round. <laughs> in which case, there's no. Uh, in which case, there's no reason not to try and counter it. <laughs> if I, mean, I fail, I'm, if I fail, I'm staggered anyway, so it just doesn't stack. As uh, Sixus brings up his blade, and that's enough. As the hit hits Sixus straight back into the wall as he slides on the ground all the way here. It's um, been a while since that ability. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Alright. He is staggered though, so we'll see how that goes. Mm hmm. Better be staggered than damaged. Mm hmm. Staggered is just one action, right? Mm hmm. Staggered just means you have one action next turn, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, so that's an action. I can still You still have your standard, but. Yes. No, but uh, technically it's just no move action. That's what staggered uh, is. Good thing I didn't mm. crit you with that, because if Frigid Touch crits, uh, is a critical hit, then target is staggered for one minute instead. Well, yeah. If Sorry. you crit it, I don't think I could have right. dodged it either, so. Mm -hmm. So, do you want me to attack the Crystal or the Cultists? Uh. I would probably vote for attacking the cultists because I think I'm probably going to have Nero attack the crystal. <sighs> when he eventually right. out of this fucking room. <sighs> I mean, I could grapple the crystal. Taking a five foot step over here. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll go for the crystal on my turn. 
All right, Cherka is going to stare down the uh, uh, nearby uh, uh, Colpis, and with a swift action, he's going to switch from his uh, what was it called again? He's going to switch from his uh, Solar Stings uh, boost to his uh, Searing Break boost, which uh, gives him an extra bonus to his. Uh, uh, fire damage. So, full attack on the cultist. With many shot. Okay, this one to the right. Uh, 19 actually misses its AC. Right. At this point I can say that they have AC of 24. Right. However, the other two attacks have a potential to hit, but first let's see, let's go for mirror image. Uh, so D5 and then D2 to see if the if the displacement works. On D5. <laughs> okay, that goes potentially to mirror image, but roll D2. One. Okay, still misses because of displacement. Uh, oh, one yeah, and, and then oh. again 1d5 and then d2 again. Okay, that has a chance of hitting him. And roll d2. Okay, but that also misses. Curses. Because of displacement. Alright, Zill. And, uh, sorry. Yeah? Uh, ah, yeah, just going Fal to Falcon, right. You, you have your Falcon. Yeah. Uh, just got to move my token over here so I can see a bit clear on what I'm facing, alright? Uh, oh, right, I didn't give vision to your bird. Uh, yeah, you should have vision from the bird token now, I think, I right. hope. Boom. So, uh, 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 Falcon is going to attack with his beak. Oh, bitch. Uh. Misses AC. Alright. So I'm moving my own token back. So go. Actually, I'm gonna give it. Uh, it has low light vision. <coughs> but yeah, again, tell me if you don't see vision from. No, I can see now. Okay, Zillow, your turn. Alright, one second. There it is. Ah. Is it really a, a 1d0 for the Falcon, Simon? <laughs> hmm? Oh, oh I'm in a... Uh, kind of in a... Uh, nice uh, rare... 1d3. 1d4. Ah, uh, let's see here. Are these... I don't know if I overheard, but are these things undead or not? Uh, they are not. They do not count as undead. Alright, then I'm going to use a swift action on the... One that has the most, uh, what's the name? Mirror images? Well, the most health. Oh, the most have then from the visible ones, it's to the right. The, the same fucker that tried to dominate you. Alright, and I'm going to be using... <laughs> because I tried to go for the thing that failed will save skill your party. So I get the roll Intimidate. <laughs> <laughs> as, but as a free action, I am going to go into a blood rage. So let me get my right roll of. Da -da -da -da. Come on. Bench recalculating. There we go. Of uh, plus 23 to intimidate. <laughs> Alright, and what was the. 
Okay, I'm not gonna you ask what's the, what's the DC because you rolled fucking 40, of course you, you pass. And so he is not... now... He's now flat-footed. Uh, uh, I should I, clarify I, though, it's 10 plus whiz modifier plus half hit dice. Mm. Yeah, so you, with, a... with a 40 you still, <laughs> you still pass. Yeah, basically, if, still you, going to like... if you pass 20 you succeed, basically. That's yeah. kind of it. Mm -hmm. It's basically going to be demoralized for the remainder of this combat, probably. Because mm -hmm. I think it's, an, it's, an, it's every, an additional every round. Five, every five. Yeah, every five over. So. Four rounds, but he's going to be dead before then, I suspect. So no need to worry about that. Yeah. Yeah, By the he, way. He has nothing against uh, fear, so yeah. Alright, so he is now flat so that means he takes all my sneak attacks. Mm -hmm. So, pretty much I'm gonna, since they're okay. the same, I'll just use... His flat-footed AC is 18. Alright, so I actually don't remember how many attacks I have now. <laughs> However, yeah, there's still a matter of mirror images and displacements, unless you have something like Zixos that allows you to bypass that. No, he just has like 30 attacks. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so... yeah, that, that that is a good counter on itself, but... <laughs> okay, so Demoralize means it's shaken, right? Mm-hmm. Alright, so, right, got... so that's minus two to various stuff. Alright, so... The, basically, yeah. attack rolls and skills are the important one, and attack rolls, saves, and skills. Yeah, yeah. Let me double check. Okay, it's 19 to attack. Alright. Yeah, you only Come missed on not one because, as I said, flat footed AC 18. Okay, so now we are seeing, let's see, about mirror images and displacements. So that is... how many am I rolling here? <laughs> I mean, we, we, we kind of have to go one at a time because... You, you can roll, yeah, yeah, one at a time. Because, yeah, right, that... so, so no, first no. one is d6. Well, right. first, no. well, no, first just... how, many, how many attacks do you have? Uh, I mean, all of them go through. Eight. So, so just, why don't you just like roll all the attacks and then we ignore the first, first or so. Um, because if you hit with all of them, like, it, we know what happens. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you do it. There is still a chance that his mirror yes. will just survive because of displacement. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. But just roll all the attacks and we'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. All right, it is. Du -du 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 -du. Because it, there's also the 50% mischance, so it's just like, well, I was just going to say roll that <sighs> first, even. What's the AC we're looking for again? 18? I mean, he already rolled before yeah. his attacks. This is uh, all for... Uh, displacement was 50 or 1 in 5, Mischance? 50. Mm. 50%. 50. So roll 82. Uh, 82. Mm. So I think all, but uh, no, 72. I think one missed. Mm -hmm. uh, now, remember, he rolled the attack earlier with that little... Number yeah, eight. so all eight went through it where... Yeah, yeah then, this, this yeah. is for damage. So yeah, yeah. roll, roll yeah, 82. 82, hope for twos. Alright. Mm -hmm. Watch him just get 16. Mm -hmm. Close One, three. two, three, four, five. Three misses. Okay, right, so let's see. Uh, about both ranges. bites, one claw misses. So what's the uh, four mirror images? Uh, currently he has five. Five. So, so 1d6? Yeah. Oh, no, yeah. Play me over just the d6. 1d6. One, one is a hit. Mm hmm. Okay, d5. one. D yep, d5. d4. Three. Uh, d3. Okay. Yeah. Hit. Another hit. And, then... and that was like how much damage? That was the fifth attack. One, two, three, four, five. Five. Uh, so we have so a sneak attack, so yep. 34. Uh, and then one more D3, because there's one more, I think, attack left. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because that 33, that attack uh, kills the Magus, because he has like 28 hit points left. Oh, nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright. So am I still rolling the 1D3? 
That's no, dead. dead. Uh, yeah, you can keep hitting him if you want, but I'm not sure it does anything. But mm. well, the rest of the attacks would then go towards the other one then, wouldn't it? Well, yeah. roll a mirror damage. He, he's in range. Alright, so that's what? 1D. However, what? however, that one is not uh, flat footed. So, th would, that ch would that change anything? The uh, would, uh, it would, because you rolled. Four. The, the last attack is 4 plus 19, so that's 23. Well, it would have so been 5 for the second to last, but still, yeah. Uh, yes. yeah it would have been the second to last, so it would have been 24 to hit. Ah, 24. Right, yeah, so... Okay, 24 still hits. Alright, so what, 1d5 for him? Uh, yeah. Okay. Alright. One mirror match left. And the best thing is, I get my, uh, my left back because I killed something. Woo! Well, <laughs> all right. Uh, I don't need you guys to get flat footed now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like your flanking partner now. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that maneuver. It's like, yep, mine. Yeah, I, I, I'm. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm I, 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 yeah, I'm so big. I'm. <laughs> yo, yo, pick so fat. He's his own flanking partner. <laughs> Okay, the doors to up left, they open because the creature is hasted and they are very quick as a simple move action. They go and because the pick is big, yeah. one purpose and Zill, you see him pulling a scroll, you don't see the the contents, but you feel that this cultist is looking at you and you are kind of aware what's what's approaching. However, this time he doesn't have to roll to you know concentrate. He just needs to see if he can actually pull off the spell with use magic magic device. And the DC for that is 25. And the spell fizzles out, uh, and the scroll just is torn to shreds with like a eruption of reddish uh, energy. So that was uh, disappointing. Uh, this one engaged in combat here. Yeah, he's gonna try to uh, frigid touch your ass, Nero. I don't want to be touched. <sighs> okay, he's first, coming for you anyway. <laughs> first, concent first concentration check. Do uh, not want. Do not want. Do not want. <laughs> so like DC nineteen, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, passes. Uh, again, I'm gonna use uh, accurate strike to roll against your touch AC. Okay. With plus 13. Yep. Well, okay. Either, yeah. uh, use... ki kinre, ki kinre, okay, go ahead. Because I'm, I'm not sure you're countering. Yep, the best part is, is uh, as I said before, this doesn't expend my media action thanks to the stance I'm using. So, he's using an for number. I need to make the stealth check. Did I actually make a macro for this? I did. Huh. Okay. The best I can get is like equal, but I don't know. Okay. okay. So yeah, it hits the it hits the minor image. Mother Ash. fucker Chirix there. God damn it. A shame uh, because that would have been confirmed crit. <laughs> uh Nero is gonna go here. <laughs> That's where he's going. Um Hello, hello Zixus. Uh okay. before <laughs> And this is the best part. Uh, I then get to use my immediate action, because it hasn't been used up because that starts, to use this. <laughs> Run for your life. <laughs> you get back. <laughs> uh, let's see. Nero is going to go here as a flanking buddy. 
<laughs> Woohoo! Hello. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you did. <laughs> so this is just sees Nero teleport in front of him and then just immediately teleport away in a flash of um, hellish uh, fire. Very well. Uh, Zixus. I believe at the end of this turn, the staggered condition will go away. Quite so. Uh, uh, spell level. Actually, since I am kind of stuck here, I might as well help you guys out. Uh, the guy between you guys has a bunch of that's the problem. Has a bunch of mirror images, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. This uh, one is one d four now, I think. Yeah, one d four. On top of the displacement, as per usual. Uh. Correct. Well, I can I can only five foot step this route, so instead I'm going to use uh, something called Quell Magic. Ooh. I believe Mirror Image is level two spell. Mm. Uh, let me double check, but I believe you may be correct. Uh, yes. I think it's level one. Mirror Image is level, level two. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, Success holds out his blade straight towards him, and you hear the sound of shattering as all the mirror images disappear. Ding. That's my action, that's my turn. Good luck, kill that guy. Mm. We're, we're, still, we're still at the displacement to deal with, but that's uh, much appreciated. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's my turn. Mm -hmm. Alright, very well. Uh, Nero. Yep, Nero is going to swift action claim the... Uh, Actually, no, no, he's not. No, he's, he's not going to claim, actually. Because that is actually... Pardon me. Nero is going to instead use a... He's going to full attack, of course. And, of course, now he's flanking, so plus two to all this. Uh, third attack misses AC. However, the other two has a chance to hit. But, yeah, displacement. And both of them will miss. Okay, Nero's going to use Minute Hand as a swift action. Okay, that has a chance to hit. Okay, that hits. Uh, and that is... I'm then going to not do anything, that's my turn. <sighs> For 19, I believe. Very well. Yeah, 19 total damage. Doki, Azrak. I am going to attack the crystal. Alright, go for it. Yeah. Do all of those that. Yeah, I mean, as I said, this is like a floating crystal AC of 10, so. Then. Then, yeah, it's just like a. I, I don't know what CMD with Crystal have, but definitely not 30. Like, definitely lower uh, than that, so... Well... <laughs> given it's based off of a ba uh, base attack bonus, strength, and dex, probably shit. Yeah. Okay, so that counts as 6 hits, as you're like, basically... Chipping... I'm gonna say, this is not tearing, but it's like chipping away, like... Like you're really roughly working on a diamond, like you stupid well, fucking I, I piece of like shit! <laughs> Since I also have, like, have adamantine claws, I'm probably just like ripping out chunks of it. Yeah, mm. okay, that's fair. But yeah, this is, I'm gonna say this is like a large crystal with like full of magical energy. Oh yeah, that's fair. There are still plenty more hits to hits to go. Okie dokie. Uh, this one, I go on a five foot step. One purpose. And will attempt to strike you. This one didn't use that spell uh, again, so yeah, you again see the same combo. Accurate strike, so that will be against your touch AC, and trying to cold strike you as the frigid touch uh, embraces the keen rapier, the keen bone rapier, as it attempts to strike you. Uh, okay, first I need to see if this spell actually goes off, but. Yeah, combat casting plus Magus thing, so in DC 19. Okay, close, but still goes off. Because Frigid Touch is level 2, so that's 15. Yeah, DC 19, so that goes off. And then, yeah, that will be a strike against your Touch AC Nero. 
Okay. Actually misses. Wow! <laughs> uh, you missed by... You were looking for touch AC 20. Fucking hell. Alright. Uh, this fucker is dead. Uh, Cherok, your turn. Uh, right. Oof. I got a five foot step over here. Aim at the cultist uh, who says the crystal. So right. that's the, the, the full attack. Milongbow. DC and uh, not DC, fucking hell. AC of 24. So the first. So one hit. Has a chance to hit. Give me D2 and then D5. Not sure if uh, many shot uh, counts as a separate attack or. No, many should no. take some damage. Mm -hmm. Alright, All right, so what was the 1d5? Oh, we have hit. a chance to hit him and then d2 to see if this displacement works or not. Miss. However, misses. Alright, uh, Zulu, your turn. Alright. Since he wasn't smart enough to go more than five feet, doo -doo -doo -doo. he he couldn't. So <laughs> you know, angry pig. He looks through the door. Um, All right, so I like the way you bleed, boy. <laughs> One vision. <laughs> doo -doo -doo -doo. What is it right now? Nineteen. Alright, what was the, uh, it's AC? Uh, 24. It has no mirror images left, however, there's still displacement active. And all of them go through. <laughs> Very nice. Nice. Uh, so, ADD2, I guess. Yep. Looking for twos. Okay, four attacks hit. Alright, so that is... Fucker's probably dead, <laughs> but... <laughs> but just, just imagine, he doesn't get, you know, sneak attack this time. Alright, so that's a... 21, cover. still alive. Okay. 23, still yep. alive. So, 44 so far. So, hold on, let me go one. Twenty-seven, uh, still alive, barely. <laughs> and yeah, seven, seventy, yeah, seventy-one, and then okay, eight, with eighty-five the, damage total. With the last hoof strike, you bring him to minus five. <laughs> <sighs> As despite the fact that he tried, they try so desperately to play with your sight to. Negate your melee prowess, somehow you are still able to just overwhelm their defenses with just the amount of strikes that you can do. <laughs> and I got more more down on the road. Oh, right. I'm glad I just disabled those mirror images. <laughs> I believe that's your turn. How many times can you do that? Do what? Uh, no, Judas, how many times can you do that? If I want to use my standard action, I can basically do it every turn of three rounds. Mm, not bad. Hmm. It's, it's a fairly low cost spell, which is why I can do it that much. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. This one will go. D2. Uh, one Azrak, two Zixos. Okay. It will. It will provoke as it goes at you, uh, Azrak. One D two Zach. Azrak, Oh yeah, yes, yeah. I was just getting my attack roll, but. Hit. Yeah, nice. that, that has a potential to hit. And there's still a matter of mirror image, but let's see if the AC goes through. 
For AC twenty four. All right, uh, give me D five. This one still has four mirror images. Okay, you get him. Let me see at his CMD. Uh, yeah, because that is a shit constructor. Holy shit! You just equaled his CMD, which means. He's grappled. And I think if he's grappled, then his mirror images don't really help him against you. Correct. And I think displacement doesn't either. Correct. Alright, so that's what? 17... 20, uh, 39? Points of damage? Correct. However... Despite the fact that you just grabbed him, just somehow so in your gut feeling where to reach for gra forward and grab. And actually, he will be grappled like that because you have like 10 feet mm -hmm. reach. You just grab him and he still defiantly continued the chant. It was like one, yeah, one purpose. Alright, and he fucked up because, yeah, you gra grappled him. Okay, uh, this one. Uh, suddenly the doors to the left will just blast open as another Magai will just, with incredible burst of speed, just charge through. Uh, neither Zillol nor Cheru will get attacks of opportunity because of the spell. And... Yeah, because he's just like... Basically bouncing off the wall, like uh, parkouring, jumping uh, over you, because yeah, with the spell he can also move through uh, squares, like, of enemies. Even if Zillow stayed right next to it, he, he could still do it, because the spell specifically says that, yeah, you can uh, essentially, like, move through squares occupied by larger creatures. He whirls around. Uh, yeah. with the scroll in hand, because this is still the one that didn't have a chance to try this trick. Uh, however, he's not provoking from anyone, so let's see if he can get off the spell from the from the scroll. Looking for DC 25. Okay, the fate yeah. is on your side today, uh, Zillow. That's his turn, Zixos. Alright. Seeing as Astrak is currently holding the guy up in the air. Uh, huh. I'm actually gonna delay after Astrak. Do you think you can do something to him or do you want me to try and kill him? Mm hmm. Zach? Um, I'm just gonna start crushing him, so if you wanna kill him, you can. I'm gonna lay after you, see if you manage to get enough damage on him. That'd be That's quite fair. nice. Mm -hmm. uh, Nero? Oh, Nero's gonna be a right git. Because uh, he's running a little bit dry. Um, Nero is going to use claim on Zillow <laughs> as a swift action. Very well. Well, shit, nope. Zillow. Now you have minus, what, three or four to hitting him. This is this is a bad time. Um... Oh, that'd, be, that'd be useful if you'd failed that, uh... Little save. Oh, yeah. True, 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 true. Yeah. Uh, however... Oh, claims a pig. Yeah. However, uh, using the stance again, because I'm now getting back my counters, uh, Nero is going to use Relativity Burst to grant himself a move action. And since he knows where the claim targets are at all times, he's going to go here. Keep in mind, this has not used his actual standard move action, which means that's uh, I can now full attack. <laughs> okay, uh, this one still has mirror images and displacement active. Okay, four yep, mirror so... images active. Uh, actually, only haste attack has a, goes through AC. Okay, well, we're going to roll the displacement burst. We'll see what happens there. That's a mess. <laughs> Alright. 
Got third turn. Uh, yeah, that's my turn. Actually, I'll tell you about. I'm gonna, I'm gonna claim both because uh, I could have seen them. both Zillow and Chirok. It's gonna make sense in just a moment. Chirok what? claimed yeah. and Zix was claimed, right? Uh, Zillow. I couldn't ah. see Zix and Azrak, so it's Zillow, Chirok, and of course this this scumbag here who's claimed. Yeah, he's mm -hmm. already. Yeah. yeah, it'll make sense in a moment. <laughs> I have been claimed. By the big metal hand in the sky. Alright. <laughs> Azrak. You have him in his grasp. Yeah, that's... Go Ooh, that's way above its CMD, so... <laughs> Alright. So that's like, what, 20? I'm putting a squeeze on him, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you squeeze... The, da the, the damage is from, um... Armor spikes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so Squish, he like, starts coughing blood, but just defiantly, with his brain being like, washed with that f fucking propaganda and like, uh, light belief. One wish. <coughs> He's still alive, but bloodied. Turn. Alright. That is a standard Six. action to do that. Six. Okay. Shuffle on over here. Darn, out of range. Uh, uh, well, Six is uh, as blood flies from the cultist. Six is sheets his blade, and before sending away, uh, uh, forty-five, sending a wave of uh, a lightning blade forward. Twenty-one versus AC. Hmm. If it's grapple, that's like minus two to AC, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so with minus two, that's still twenty-two. Mm -hmm. Is it just minus two sack, or is there a dex bonus lost? Um, it's minus two from dex because it's minus four to dex. Ah. All right. In which case, the second one is the elemental flux. Do do do. Mm hmm. Oh yeah, that's. It, it's not that much damage, sadly, because I don't have the bonus from the other one. But that's twenty damage. Uh, mm hmm. Uh, twenty total. Mm hmm. The cultist is still alive, battered, bleeding, but mm -hmm. it is. Mm -hmm. But but you are also, getting there. Couldn't you pin him, Zack? Mm hmm. Oh yeah. I, I could have pinned him with that check. Because that's one of the things you can do. <laughs> so, yeah, he'd be pinned. Mm hmm. And uh, what does that do exactly? I need a quick spirit back. <laughs> I think it makes his deck equal to zero. Alright, then the first one would have. Yeah. Then, then, yeah, that would have <laughs> hit, which would change so, uh, damage by how much? Uh, and an extra 35 damage. Mm hmm. Okay, then that would kill him. Yeah, uh, so as like Astrak slams him down into the blood pool, a blade of a blade of wind cuts his head off. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, that's my turn. Mm -hmm. And the uh, illusionary effects just go away. Cheruk, there's only one enemy left on the field. All right. So if I hit Nero, I apologize in advance. As he lets out another full attack against the uh, cultist. I mean, what didn't you have like the feats to? Yeah, like, for but shooting I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah, for yeah, flat purposes. I... Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh... Two hits. Yeah, the third attack misses AC. However, the first two have a chance of hitting. All right. So I mean, start with two uh, D two. To see if the displacement works or not. Two D two, please. Yep. Okay, both of them have a ch go through displacement, and now let's roll uh, D five. Okay, so that's one mirror down, and then D four. Okay, so they go through displacement, but you see the arrow shatter uh, two of the mirror images. 
Alright, e... Next up, Toriyama is going to start pecking the crystal. Alright. Make, make, make a roll. Or rather, yeah, because this... Okay. Yeah, so pecking. One hit. Uh, so. Alright. Uh, do we only have the one left? Yeah. You know, this is going to be really mean. <laughs> but I'm going to pounce it since it's a straight line. <laughs> he thought he could get away. <laughs> so... Eh. Man, if any one of these dominate persons went off, it would have been so much different. <laughs> well, yes. Uh, that's... <laughs> All right. Uh, damn it, I forgot to add the plus two, so but I should be good. So which ones? Oh! Uh... Yeah! So. <laughs> all... F yeah, all, all of them have a chance to hit. This one still has two mirror images active and obviously displacement. Alright, so even with the... Let's see... Would a five still hit it? 25? No, if, uh, I'm trying to figure out what my uh, the plus is. Uh, 3 plus see, 19, five. that's... It'll be 20, 5 plus 21, so it's flanking. Oh, right. It'll be, yep, 26. Yeah, yeah. yeah Alright, so everything hits then. Yep. Because I forgot to add the plus 2 for flanking. Alright. Yeah, yep. So that is... Was it 8d2? Uh, if all of them hit, yeah, 8d2. So. Alright. So uh, only three misses. <laughs> so... What's that? Yeah, so d3. Alright. Okay, goes into him. The, the first attack goes into him. Alright, and uh, and I'll roll this to see if we did a crit confirm, considering this was the, the 20, which I get to add another plus 4 to now. Uh, right. Uh, I'm afraid to see what this is going to look like. Considering your bonuses, unless you roll a one, uh, yeah, that <laughs> that confirms. All right, so uh, all right, since that one confirms, this will be the uh, the normal damage you would have gotten. Eventually, I think. <laughs> I'm... Yeah, because I'm not sure if you oh, rolled. There it goes. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. So the first damage yeah, was 20. 39, and then plus 27. I come back. 39, and then 27. Still alive. So now the fourth attack. So All again, right. D3. Yep. Okay. So that mirror image is, is down. Uh, okay, and then the f sixth attack, so D2. Okay, six, uh, sixth attack goes through. Alright. And that happens to be the other crit. <laughs> Alright. I mean, they, they go through one, when they two, matter. Three, four, five, area six. Alright, that was the normal damage, and... Alright, because you are flanking, you are adding your <coughs> sneak attack, right? Yep, so... 28 for the first attack, and then 29 for the confirm. Alright, 
So he's at minus 24. Uh, <laughs> how do you finish this combat encounter? How does it look like? How much of blood shower Nero gets? Um, uh, pretty much. I'm gonna go around with uh, my tusk and then like rip him apart like a uh, like a Wookie. <laughs> just tear off his arms. Yeah, well, you just see blood just splattering all over the place. Yeah, before Nero can get affected by that, he's gonna fucking get. Because <laughs> the guy's dead, he relatively bursts and just fucking teleports away. Back to the. <laughs> well, no, he's, he's, not getting, he's not getting blood on his fucking. Uh, on his missile jacket. <laughs> Please, this is imported silk. <laughs> you, blood bear. <laughs> you just see Nero just teleport in and just, like, brush off his shoulder of, like, a small speck of blood that got on there. Mm-hmm. Lovely. The beast has done it again. <laughs> I am a blood doctor after all. <laughs> uh, so working. So the mag- ma- magi dead. Uh, do you actually continue pounding the blood crystal, or do you just leave it? Your call. Uh, I would right. say probably okay. investigate it, and if it turns out to be bad, then beat the crap out of it. Mm-hmm. Can we make a check to see what it is? I mean, yeah, you already like rolled before that this acted as a fuel source, and essentially, uh, this is a, essentially like a very effective, actually alignment neutral uh, energy focus. Now let's bring it back to the guild. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's probably a bit smaller than Astrax got his hand on it, but it still should still work on. Mm. In this case, they used it as a well. The mag- magi they used it as a essentially this allowed them to have like infinite pool of uh, arc- 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 arcane pool, and probably if the fight went for longer, like allowed them to like regain spells. Uh, but yeah, it probably can be rein uh, reinvented for something else. Uh, do you take time to check the bodies for loot? Mm-hmm. Because this, yes. these guys actually have a uh, magical blink that yep. perhaps some of them could use. Nero is going to quickly switch back to his movement stance. Okay, so I'm going to write down stuff and essentially it's always, it's always times four because these guys had uh, the, same, the same things. So I might, okay, so I might as well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Got a like ass today. <laughs> yeah, in case in case anyone tried to disarm them, the bone ra- the bone rapiers also have cold special condition, not special condition, special uh, property. Uh, when I had all my boss, my intimidate was a plus twenty five. Uh, and there's like a couple of Morphix Cloak of Resistance. Oh, okay. There's no. Oh, those are pretty fucking good. Nobody minds if I take uh, one of. Well, basically, Natural Armor, Ring of Protection, and Cloak of Resistance. Let's see here. Let's see. Do I have a belt? Yes. Trying to see. I'll take one of the Cloak of Resistance too as well. Yeah. Okay, I already have a cloak, so I'm good on that. Yeah. Uh, amulet, uh, ring, and cloak taken. Believe it or not, I don't have a cloak resistance yet. <laughs> oh, don't. And let's see. What's. What's the set on a missile shirt? Okay. By the way. Uh, Is it a chain shirt? Uh, yeah, uh, f- fuck. Fuck, I closed the... It's, it, essentially, it's, it, the, the, the game is, it's, it's, it's Mithral Shirt, that's, that's the name. And I'm not sure if this is like a chain shirt. Mithral Shirt, uh... Yeah, extremely light chain shirt, yes. Uh, do cloak go on the body or shoulder? Shoulder. Alright, I'll... Uh, da, 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 what? Let's see. So that'd be plus four, 
but the dex would, would be plus six, right? Oh, uh, what was that? I'm trying to okay. figure out if the cherry shirt's better than uh, what I have right now. What what do you have now currently? Uh, a masterwork chain shirt. Uh, yeah, yes. oh yeah, it's much better. Uh. I thought I'm trying to figure out what the actual stats are. Uh, it's it's the same it's the same as a masterwork chain shirt for in terms of armor class. Um, but you also have ten percent arcane spell failure chance, max exponents to plus six, and no armor check penalty. All right, and I'll take. That'd be the only thing I would take then. Mm -hmm. It would be six AC for me. Would... Yeah, I already have, I already have a ring, and I already have a cloak, and the belt's not going to help me. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, then we're done here. It went Onwards done. and upwards. Mm. Yeah, uh, simple because that might, might have like disappeared in like the amount of messages from chat. Just out of morbid curiosity, just for me, uh, can you like roll? Make a will check. Will save. I just want to see if this actually had a chance of even working. Actually, two will saves uh, because they tried that two times on you, and just the spell didn't, the magic device check didn't work. All right. So they had two more one. chances of of getting you, and DC was twenty. Okay, so that yeah, the last one had a chance. <laughs> <laughs> that is why I got that headband of uh, wisdom. <laughs> yeah, because that the cloak. as the saying goes, a failed will save kill your party. We're very excited about that. Mm -hmm. I would I would have had to play very carefully around that. <laughs> it probably, probably would have been up to me to fucking grapple and pin him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, I was going to say, what's your CMD, Zo? Uh, at present, without my buffs, my CMD is 27. But if I had all my buffs on, because I also had that. Let's see. And total of. I can't I hadn't calculated yet because. Come on. I was trying to say it's 26 now. Can't be right. Yeah. Um, okay, but for now, because kind of obviously you're. Oh, there we go, 29. Yeah, unless, oh. unle unless uh, <laughs> Axrak rolls a 1, he can still fold you well, in half. So, I would have. It would be. Four or higher, with my new stance that I got, because that puts my CMB up to twenty-five. That should be higher AC. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, and, I and might that is well without flanking or anything as well, which I'd probably have flanking if you were in the middle of us. Yeah, and I, also I think forgot <laughs> that. Uh, yeah, one of them didn't manage to get, so we would also find the dominate persons. Oh my god, how I wrote it. Yes. Scroll. scroll. Yes, scroll. Fucking hell. I'm. No. Oh. Yeah, so I for the that. purpose of party knowledge, yeah, you probably can figure out what they tried to do on Zillow. So, yeah, you might be on the lookout for that in the What's future. What's the UMD check to, to uh, use that? Uh, it's 20 plus caster level of a spell, I imagine. So that's why I was the DC for them was 25. Because dominate person, like, for some is like... I could get it. It'd, ha it'd be a few tries, but I could get it. Oh dear, I just sat there going, Veneviisi, Traviisi, Veneviisi, Traviisi, yeah, Veneviisi. I mean, is it, I is it, is it like that, that you just do it once and then just the scroll is wasted? Because, or no, this, this allows you to retry? No, the round is wasted. Only, I think only a natural one fails you that way. Mm. Yeah. Right, huh. so a natural okay. one and if you would fail, which I would, but, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay, oh well, I mean... Actually, uh, I don't think that... I think it just keeps it from trying again that day. Fluffwise, it worked for me that the scroll just was wasted yep. because they were like pulling above their uh, weight class and mm -hmm. probably class-wise, so I was like playing around that. I think I think if it came down to it, it would require either Azrak would have to fucking grapple 
uh, Zilla or Nero would have to fucking kite the shit out of him. And that's. Uh, I, I think, honestly, our best great. option is just to burst him, throw everything at him before he can kill all of us. <laughs> yeah. Uh, his AC is good, but it's not like unbeatable. And his, his, his HP, you know, is, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, I am raging. My HP is 108. Mm-hmm. So, with a, bit, a couple of lucky hits, we can get that down. Um, yeah. It's just that suddenly we have to fight our ally who's dealing with the wizards as well. All I say <laughs> is, do it while you... Wait, just do it. Make sure you can still do it after I get to... Uh, in two levels. Mm-hmm. Because then... Levels? I can add all my strength to uh, my AC. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like... That won't change your CMD, which is what I hit. <laughs> I need to stop you. Because <laughs> yeah, I'm actually trying to get it to work, right? Because I keep looking down and saying 25, and a moment ago it said it was like 30 something. Eventually, uh, roll 20 will work for me. I'm I'm sitting at a very respectable 34 AC with one of the stances, and 36 if I've moved more than 10 feet. Mm-hmm. Why do I bother with heavy armor? <laughs> yeah, as you continue into deeper into the ruins, uh, I mean the, the fortress, there are occasional, despite the fact that you're probably deep in and there's like a, a lot of structure around you and from where you are to, towards the outside, but even then you can swear you feel occasional shakes. There's a little bit of dust falling from the ceiling as you can Imagine the battle on the outside is absolutely uh, fierce, and you know what? You can give me. Uh, it will be up to you w- what method are you using. Uh, it can be actually spellcraft, like sensing magic going towards the source of like big magical source, or it can be perception to see something specific towards where you can go or survival no. so you we can you, you can have like different options how you want to approach leaning towards uh, towards your objective uh... going to try to survive trying to say... uh... <laughs> Yeah, I wasn't sure, but yeah, go ahead. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna say in this case, uh, Nero is very much in attunement with the magical flow of this place, and essentially, uh, you approach a crossroads, and you have two options ahead of you. You feel that, on one hand. Uh, you can feel, detect, imagine there's a magical workshop of some sort, a laboratory, a place where they create more uh, machines of war, more perhaps blood golems on bone golems. Perhaps that place is active even as we uh, speak and creating (coughs) more reinforcements to the battle. Uh, outside, and I would say even like you can you dispatched uh, two shambling blood golems that were trying to go throughout the corridor to the outside. So that's one choice. The other choice you can definitely, without a doubt, feel this event horizon of power, not connected to a single person, but just like a whole. It feels like this vacuum of overwhelming energy that is pulsating like like a heart, like a twisted crafted heart of this fortress. And you imagine that if the summoners, if the those who well control the situation, the the biggest fishes uh, the biggest focusing fishes of this fort uh, where they are, they are probably right where there's this source of uh, power. So it's your call to the party. Do you go straight for the heart, for the jugular, or do you make a small detour to 
eliminate the workshop slash laboratory slash uh, place of making more enemies. Hmm. Uh, I'd say we go for the heart because if we capture this place, we might be able to repurpose the facility for our own use. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go with that. We go for the heart. For glory. Right, right for the throat. <laughs> the throat. Silly Nero. Castles don't have throats. In before we find like a large statue or something. There it is, we see. <laughs> we, we see just a little like vein. Yeah. Because for some reason this fucking castle's turned into Kaelid from Elden Ring. It is a mimic. <laughs> the entire castle is a mimic. I, uh... <laughs> I'm having flashbacks to Devil May Cry for some reason. <laughs> oh I'm... god. This really is Castle Raymond Loft. I mean, I'm reminded, I'm reminded, but then I remembered it was on this Discord that they throw that you find an empty tavern in the middle of a forest. I cast Fireball on you. <laughs> 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 However, I'm gonna put you on a new map and say, what do you see? Uh, however, I'm sorry, but this encounter will have to play uh, next, next time. Next week. That's fine. Next yeah. time on Eternal Wonder is Z. Yep. Yeah, essentially, as you out. enter, you, sw you could have sworn that you were inside a fortress. Sure, it was built kind of in a mountain, but the place that you approach, that you enter, above you, there is sky. But this is very mm -hmm. unnatural alien sky where the stars are not right. But the sky is, I would say, like... In terms of darkness, like almost pitch black, but there are points of light, but they are not warm, they are not comforting, they are weird, alien, and definitely giving like a very far realm uh, look. The creatures, the humanoid creatures standing at the front of this laboratory, this uh, nerve command uh, of this place. Uh, Zillow, not Zillow, Zixos would definitely recognize them. They are the same ones that he had seen talking with the first giant leader. A I only see one token. Uh, back. Uh, what is that, Zach? I only see one token. Mm, I see two. On there. On I see there. two. Oh, that are the ones standing so still that she's invisible. <laughs> Zack, are you a T-Rex? <laughs> Either way, so I presume it is this where we ended today? Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. The pre-fight banter, if, if you want to engage in that, we'll deal with that later. And obviously, they are ready for you. They have... Sound spells active, but technicalities of that we will deal with later. All right. In which case, thank you for the session. Mm -hmm. That is what I was referencing. Mm -hmm. uh, I thought Eternal Wonders. Yes, I know, okay. but I was referencing. I don't know which which animal it was, but the T-Rex that can't see things after moving unless they're moving. I mean, that, um, that, that, that's what Jurassic Park said, and then Jurassic Park proved it wrong. Yeah, honestly, Jurassic Park isn't exactly the best science to show. <laughs> oh, gee, really? <laughs> well, 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 like that's what they said, and then the T Rex could see them moving. Yeah. No. Nobody it's move like, a muscle. Uh, it's like the T Rex moves itself. Oh, there you are. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to quickly just throw it back. Sure. Oh, dear. Yeah, also, thanks for the session. I think, it, I yeah, think they used the set, from what we could tell. I knew the Mostly. combo might have been irritating to deal with, but it was. It what Jesus makes sense. Christ, Julius. It what makes sense. Uh huh. For that them to fast. have such a combo. What? Elden that Ring? Was fast. Look, what else am I gonna so, do? So, like, alright, guys, we're done. Elden Ring, uh, Julius has started playing Elden Ring. Or well, yeah, I don't play it in the <laughs> session, so I gotta play it when we're done. Um... <laughs> Oh yeah, as I said, thanks for the session. Yes.